In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Kodak Step Instant Mobile Photo Printer. So let's do the unboxing. Now slide it out. So it comes with the booklet, small booklet. That's our small printer. And here we have some photo papers, some stickers, that's the charging cable. Let's take it out. It's quite nice. So that's the power button. If we press it, so it will switch it on. So the red light is flashing. It means it needs the recharging. Now the first step is to load the paper. So slide it. Open the cover. So it comes with the 2 into 3 inch photo paper. Now place this sheet, color sheet facing down like here. Now place the glossy side of the photo paper facing up like this and this side should be facing down. Now close it, press it here and push it on the other side again and now we are ready. Press and hold the power button. So press the power button, it will switch it on. And we can see the white light is stable that means our printer is enough charged and we can start using it. Next step is to connect with your smartphone. I'm going to use my iPhone. Go to the app store. Type in codec step prints. On the next screen select the codec step prints app open if you want you can create an account or you can do it later accept terms and conditions <coughs> scroll ahead finish app tour Kodak would like to access the camera press ok also wants to access your all photos press ok Now we have to add the printer, so click on the top Bluetooth button. On the next page it will ask to join the or use the Bluetooth, press OK. We can see our printer is showing up, select it. Now select it again. So this way we can add our printer and now we can start printing it. For example we can select a photo to print. So here is a photo I'm going to print. Click on the print preview. So this is the photo I'm going to print with this printer. If you want you can edit. So it has an option to edit the photos. You can add some effects, filters. Once you do that go back. You can click on the print. So here is the print preview. On the next page you can select the number of copies you want to print and then click on the print icon. Now we can turn it around. So take this film out. So that is for the color calibration. So let's see the result. The first thing is you don't have to place this sheet again inside. So color calibration is already done. If we look at the print quality, the print is very bright and clear. There are no missing ink. There are no lines. It's very shiny 
and it looks so nice and beautiful so if we compare with the original photo we can see there is no big difference so it's really really nice i will definitely recommend this printer if you just want to print photos and it's very easy to use the printer you can just take it anywhere and the good thing about the printer is like it doesn't use any ink cartridge so it all depends on this photo paper so you just have to buy the photo paper install it and start using it you don't need to buy any ink cartridge and that is best about this photo printer so this way we can do the complete setup and then we can start using it make sure you use this blue card at starting and you also keep it with you so that whenever you need it you can just scan it for the proper ink color calibration thanks for watching